What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. We're going to talk about the purpose of the Bible. What is God's word for? Like what's the main objective of him wanting to um, lead us to the scriptures of him wanting us to read the Bible. Like, why are we supposed to read the Bible? That's very important. Very big question. So let's get to it. Okay. Let's start with, um, this scripture in Ephesians. The scripture is Ephesians six seventeen, Um, and it says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So the word of God is the sword of, of the spirit. So we know that we're told to walk in the spirit, to be led by the spirit, to be spiritually minded, um, to be taught all things by the spirit and led into all truth by the Holy Spirit. And right here it teaches, um, it's talking about the armor of God. Um, and it's talking about the shield of faith, which is defensive, um, against the, qu uh, to quench the fiery darts of the devil, but then it, it names the helmet and then it names our actual weapon, our sword. And that's the Bible. That's the word of God. So we are to use the word of God to actually take action, to do something, to be offensive as a child of God for God's purpose, for God's glory. Amen. There's another scripture in Hebrews 4 um, that says, this is Hebrews 4.12, it says, For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit. Okay, and it says that is is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So, so the word of God cuts. The word of God discerns and divides what is spirit, what is soul, what is your heart like. It actually exposes and it cuts and it convicts. So this is very important for us um, because we need to be convicted. We need to see how it is that we need to live, what it is that we need to do now that we belong to God and we're supposed to live for God. It says we are bond servants of Christ, soldiers of Christ, um, slaves of righteousness, children of God about our father's business. So it's very important that we find out what it is that God wants us to do, how it is that he wants us to live. And we can do this by reading the Bible because it's going to convict us. It's going to help us turn to the direction that we need to turn to is going to convict us and remind us of truth and it's going to help us use that sort of the spirit and attack and live offensively because Jesus said go right Jesus said do right Jesus said hey the same ministry I have I will give to you so there's a doing the Bible says practice righteousness practice is a word for actually doing right acting you're conducting yourself on on, on, on in something conducting yourself in a certain way okay and the main scriptures um that i wanted us to look at um are in second timothy chapter 3 uh starting with verse 16 okay so it says all scripture is given by inspiration of god okay and it says and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in, this is the key word right here, instruction in righteousness. Pow, like the, this is the answer of this video. This is the, this is the, 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 the answer. This is the focus of this topic, instruction in righteousness. And in verse 17 says that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. And again, we go back to words, God desiring our life to look like something, our actions to look like something. And that something is righteousness, right? So the word of God that God gave us is good uh, for doctrine, for us to build a belief system of it, from it, right? And live by it for reproof, for correction, right? Exhortation, for warning, for instruction and in righteousness, uh, so that we can be thoroughly equipped. You know, a lot of times, uh, many believers wonder why 
they're um they're weak or why they they're not encouraged why they don't have this ferocious passion and hunger for God and to serve God and to preach the gospel and make disciples and 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 they wonder why they don't feel equipped um and a lot of times people hear sermons or a lot of a lot of times people just show up to church but they haven't been thoroughly equipped to do the work of ministry to live for Christ and it's because they haven't really been filling their minds with the truth of God right and it says that we need to not only have a belief system but we need to actually be instructed in righteousness so the word of god the bible the scriptures are to instruct us in righteousness the bible says that we have become the righteousness of god in christ jesus the righteous one because that's what he did on the cross he he who never sinned became sin for us the righteous one became sin for us he condemned sin in the flesh on the cross for us so that when we believe in him we may be forgiven of our sins right and be become righteous in God's sight, right? That means to be justified, right? That means to be redeemed, right? From who we used to be, what we used to do, what ha what had us in bondage, and now we belong to God to live for God. Um, but there's a lifestyle that we are called to have, and that lifestyle, that practice is a righteousness one. It's a righteous living. And the Bible says that the Bible itself is supposed to train us in that righteousness and Instruct us in that righteousness. So it's very important that we start reading God's word daily, that um that we do assemble with the saints, that we talk about the word of God with other believers, that we hear preaching and teaching that's uh, based on the word of God, um, that we remember what God's word says, that we meditate on it, think about it, ask God questions about it, ask others questions about it, Google questions about it, watch YouTube videos about it. And, and, and it's very important that we renew our minds with the truth of God because by, the Bible says in, in Romans 12 too, that transformation comes by the renewing of the mind okay so it's very important if we want to start living a righteous life and and, and living righteously as the bible states very clearly we ought to um live according to uh, uh to righteousness right then we must know the bible we, we must we must get into the word we must read it we must be renewed or reprogrammed we must have our mindset shifted according to his word OK, so that we can um, receive his instruction so that we can be trained and we can we can be transformed uh, into what he wants us to be as far as our speech, as far as our thoughts, as far as our intentions, as far as our actions. OK, now, a lot of people think that the that the Bible is only for, you know, for their encouragement. It, you know, oh, you know, I feel sad. Oh, read the Bible, read a psalm here, read a psalm there or Oh, we're, we're, we're broke. You know, I need some wisdom. And they all, oh, they tell you, oh, go read Proverbs. You know, there's a lot of wisdom in Proverbs and, and it's going to help you get wisdom so that you can get rich and use it for your self gain and stuff like that. Right. So a lot of times we think that the Bible is just to um, kind of like comfort our flesh a little bit or feed our flesh a little bit. It's absolutely not for that. Now, the word of God will comfort you right now. We, we, we read time and time again in the book of Psalms where David is like, you know, in trouble. And he says that God's word comforted him, that he actually um, encouraged himself by remembering God's word or by reading God's word. So it's important that 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 um, that we read it uh, because it does encourage us. But that's not the goal. The goal is for us to actually be be trained, be equipped and to be instructed in righteousness, because there's a there's a a, 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 a calling right? There's a calling that has been given to us. There's a purpose for us being here on this earth. Like, you know, we would have been born again and disappeared on earth and appeared in the kingdom of God if God's only desire was to get us into heaven. But that's not it. We are to be a light in this world. We are to practice righteousness here. We are to walk in the light and imitate our father, right? The Bible says be imitators of God. The Bible says follow Jesus. The Bible says be holy in conduct as your father in heaven is holy. So there's a, a life that we must live that glorifies God. That's why the Bible says offer your bodies as living sacrifices unto God. That's why the Bible says your body is not the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your body is not yours. Your spirit is not yours. So therefore glorify God with them. So what is the Bible for? It's for us to learn God's will, God's ways, God's truth so that we can be instructed, we can learn, we can grow up, we can mature and be trained and equipped to serve God and to live for God and to bear the right fruit 
properly for his glory. Amen. So read the word of God today so that you can receive the instruction for righteousness that you need because we all need it. Amen. We have been groomed and we have been trained by the world, the unrighteous, wicked, evil, evil world. I don't care how nice our teachers were, how nice our parents were. We were instructed in the wicked ways of the world. And now we need to renew our minds with the truth of God in true righteousness and holiness, walking in the spirit. And we can only do that by paying attention and learning from the word of God, the Bible. So let's get into the scriptures and be instructed in righteousness today and every day. Bless you guys. I'll see you guys next time. If this video blessed you, if this helped you a little bit, like the video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to this channel. This is the first time that you're joining us and um, I'll see you next time. If you're interested in our free prayer shirts um, in the description below, you can hit the link and go to our um, Christian clothing online store. Um, also, I want to invite you to our uh, online Bible studies that we have every Tuesday night and Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we are growing. We are we are getting into the word of God and, and, and helping each other and understanding the scriptures. And, and we're not learning a, a man doctrine. We're not learning opinions. We're learning the word of God and uh, we're seeing great fruit through that. So I definitely want to invite you to those. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.